Welcome back. Come on in. Hi, I'm Kate Sparks from Little Dwellings. As you know, we've been busy renovating our backyard and now it's time to show you guys what we've been up to. Come and have a look. So this is it. Let me show you around. So my inspiration to the backyard design was something that was really close to nature. I love the outdoors and I love spending time with my family outdoors. And the kids are always encouraged to play outside and get away from the screens. So something that was going to invite them and to want to be outside was a massive inspiration for me. So I wanted something that was really practical, hands-on and absolutely beautiful. This fire pit area that we created was a space where we could come and hang out in the winter and enjoy the fire, but it was also a flexible space that we could also use throughout the whole year. So we can fit our dining table up here in an umbrella. In terms of the retaining wall, I really wanted something that could host a garden. So I needed something that was high enough to be able to plant with depth and I am a massive gardener, so I could spend hours just pottering and having fun. And the retaining walls help contain all of these beautiful plants. So this area that we're in now is our outdoor kitchen area. Since renovating the kitchen, we've included the bifold window you see behind me. So we wanted to really incorporate the window with something that was practical to the space and that we could really use. This area also looks onto the other areas, so it looks straight up to the fire pit area and straight over to the seating area. We often have lots of family friends over who have children as well. So it's a real practical space uh, for the adults to enjoy, sit down, still have a formal meal, but have their eye on their children at all times. So this little area that we're in at the moment is our lounge area. And this area was something that I wanted to create where we could just sit and relax, enjoy watching the kids on the trampoline in the cubby house. And it was an area where we could also extend our entertaining. Uh, we entertain a lot, so I wanted somewhere where adults can come and just recline and just enjoy some nice wine and cheese. With the retaining wall, I wanted it to be extended. It was quite narrow out here before. We had the old bush rock so my husband and I extended it probably about a metre back um, just to give it a little bit more space and it also allowed us to raise the garden bed so I could have these beautiful plants which I adore so much. So when it came to uh, choosing the style of design that I was after I actually didn't limit myself to just one. I guess what I wanted to do was just create an area and a space that I enjoyed and when I went shopping, I would choose stuff that I personally liked rather than does this fit the theme. So even down to the plant choice, uh, there's a lot of different varieties of plants, Australian natives and succulents and cactuses um, and other ones that flower. So it was more just what I enjoyed um, and where I wanted to be. The thing I love about modular walls is that it's really personal, so you can paint them any colour. For me, I wanted a contrast. We used Monument by Dulux and yeah, I wanted to break up the darkness and leave a little bit of light and a little bit of, I guess, funkiness. I, I like the, the dividers between them. And I chose the white wall lights purely because I have a lot of trailing plants and I wanted that light to be underneath them at night to light them up. So now we're on the other side of the DIY retaining wall job. Um, look, it was a fantastic experience to be honest. Um, I'm really proud of my hubby and I and what we've achieved together. He obviously did all the digging, all the practical measurements and building and all of that sort of stuff, but he was a champion and he just followed along and really took on board what I had in my head and what I really wanted to achieve. And so when it came to him putting it all together, it was teamwork, it was team effort, and yeah, something we're really, really proud to say we achieved together. I'm really impressed by modular walls purely because they are panels. So once you've got your two poles in, it literally just slides in once it's cut to size, making it super, super easy. It's literally a one or two man job, depending on how long the panels are. Obviously, we're not experts at doing retaining walls, so we had to YouTube a few things, and um, but, you know, modular walls was always there when we needed help or guidance. Lots of people just go, oh, it's too, too hard basket, I'll get somebody else to do it. But it's actually not, and it can take time. But seriously, sitting here and reflecting on what we've achieved, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get anyone else to do it. I would seriously consider doing it yourself. 
and as I said, Modular Walls is the perfect company to help you achieve that.